Here, they want you to find the binomial expansion of this, the first four terms of the binomial expansion. So the binomial expansion is this, a power n, a is the first term, b is the second term, n is power 8, the 8. So a power n, a power n plus nc1, a power n minus 1, 8 becomes 7 now. B, b is the second term. When you take the second term, remember this, you have to take it with the sign. If it is positive, just put kx by 4. If it is negative, write it in a bracket. Negative kx plus 4 by 4 power 1. You need to always take the second term together with the sign. Now, 8c2, 2 power 8 minus 2, b square, and 8c3, 2 power 8 minus 3, b cubed. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Now we need to carefully simplify it. 2 power 8 is 256. 2 power 7 times 8 is now minus because plus times minus. 1, 0, 2, 4 times kx over 4. 8c2 times 2 power 6 is here when you square it, it becomes positive. 1, 7, 9, 2 times k square, x square over 4 square. Square everything. 8c3 times 2 power 5 also 1792. Here minus 1 when you cube it becomes minus. Times k cube x cube over 4 cube. Did you all notice this? When you have a negative sign in between, you will have, you will have alternative signs here. So if you want, you can do that. Just find the expansion normally, ignoring this sign. But when you write the answer, put the alternative sign starting from positive. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Now we need to simplify this. So we get 256, 1024 divided by 4, minus 256kx, 112k square x square, 28k cube x cube. So we got the first four terms of this binomial expansion. That's part A. Look at the part B question. It says you have a new function, but apparently they have used this binomial expansion here. We are going to use the binomial expansion here and there is extra expression here. Here it says when you open the bracket and multiply everything, the constant term you get is 3 times the coefficient of x. They want you to find the value of k now. So first step, write 5 minus 3x as it is. Instead of this, use the expansion. 256 minus 256kx plus 112k square x square minus 28k cube x cube. Now we need to carefully find the constant term first. When you multiply 5 times everything, you will have a constant term when you multiply 5 times this. 5 times 256 will give you a constant term. How about minus 3x? If you take minus 3x and multiply everything, every term will have x in it. So there is no constant term. So this is the only constant term. The question says the constant term is 3 times the coefficient of x. Now we need to find the coefficient of x. You got to be very careful here. When you take 5 and multiply everything, when you multiply 5 times this, you will have x in it. So you take the coefficient of x is 5 negative, because you have a negative sign here, 5 times 256k. Is it the only x term? No. When you multiply this times this, 
Again, you get a coefficient of x. Minus 3 times 256. So that's the coefficient of x. So you need to carefully extract the coefficient of x. Now solve this, make k as a subject, you'll get the value of k. This is 1, 2, 8, 0 equals 3 times negative 1, 2, 8, 0 k minus 768. Open the bracket and make k as a subject. So you get 1, 2, 8, 0 is negative 3, 8, 4, 0 k and negative 3 times this, 2, 3, 0, 4. So bring the 2, 3, 0, 4 and divide by this number. So you get k equals negative 14 over 15. That's the value of k. So here, what you need to understand, this is one of the common question in Pearson and Excel Pure Math 2. The first part will be finding the first four terms. Second part, you are going to have expression like this. Sometimes instead of just a linear expression, they put a square here. So what you need to do for this one, you use the binomial expansion from part A. This one, A minus B whole square, expand it first. A square minus 2AB plus B square. And then carefully multiply and find the constant and coefficient of whatever term they ask. asking. 